What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Path of the Network Marketer. It is day 11, episode 11. Um, Yeah, so today we're going to continue our discussion around why after 16 plus years in this profession, am I just now finally learning how to leverage the internet, social media marketing, online marketing to build my network marketing business, to continue to expand and grow my network marketing business. Um, In yesterday's episode, we talked about uh, the ever-changing and evolving, the rapidly uh, changing and evolving marketplace, especially post-pandemic, and how that's kind of affected uh, our numbers and our growth rate in the entire profession of network marketing. Um, today, I'm going to talk about something that's uh, that. Um, well, yeah, it's a reality that we all have kind of faced um, in in every era of network marketing, whether it's uh, pre-internet, post-internet, pre-pandemic, post-pandemic. Um, the reality of of our profession is that there will always be a churn rate. There will always be an attrition rate. Um, and of course, some companies, uh, well, the ret- att- attrition rate um, varies from company to company, but there will always be a percentage of people who um, sign up with you and join join your organization who ultimately will leave. And and that's just that's just part of it. Uh, lots of reasons for for why that happens. Um, one of the main ones I think is that it's it's a pretty difficult business. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, so so not everybody has this the 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 fortitude. To, to stick it out, uh, you know, for as long as anybody needs to stick it out to see results. If you if you l- listen back to the episodes where I talk about my origin story in this profession, I mean, it was six and a half plus years for me before I started seeing any real kind of progress in my business, and that's that's a long time, which is it, it's kind of bonkers, uh, you know, for for a side hustle to keep doing something like this um, and and not see results for six and a half years, right? You'd have to be mental to do it. Um, uh, but I did it anyways, and again, it speaks to the the how how difficult this this profession is, right? Like, and and even even after I started seeing results, as as you know, as I started to really kind of step into the mentor role and and the, the coach role, um, and and improving my skill sets and and abilities and capabilities, um, in in that role, and no matter how good I got at coaching people and at mentoring people. Especially with the mindset side, um, it, there was still there was still you know ultimately will will end up uh, peop- there will be people who ultimately would would end up leaving, right? And and, and again, part of it is because it, it's hard to duplicate. Like we talk about duplication in in this uh, in this profession all the time. Like, does it really exist? I think it's, it it totally exists, but um, the percentage of duplication is not as high as some network marketers might have you believe. Right. Because, again, it's just a difficult profession, Um, especially to get to, you know, the higher upper echelons of of any particular comp plan like that is that is rarefied air. And of course, you know, there's there's always the adage that, oh, you know what, if it was easy, more people would be successful. And I get that. Like, that's that's fine. But it's also kind of pithy um, as a, a way to excuse why we can't help more people. Right. Right. So so for me. I, you know, I really wanted to uh, like take a look at what I was doing again, what I've done up till now and why, what I continue to do definitely works, right? The, the, the person to person, um, the networking, the developing relationships, all of that works. It's fundamentally sound. However, with the tools that we have uh, emerging with the internet, why not figure out a way to leverage those things so that we can increase the, the retention rate so that we can increase the success rate um, as opposed to just being okay with the failure rate, right? Like I think we've kind of always accepted the failure rate in this uh, as part of this profession, which is all well and good with any any kind of business. But since this is a person-to-person business and we're dealing with individual lives and individual um, distributors, why not work on on figuring out different systems and different tools where we can increase that success rate? And so for me, that's all I'm doing. Um, well, that's part of why I decided to dive into the internet and online marketing. Like, can we create systems that will help the average Joe, especially the brand new person? Like, if I had had the internet when I first got started, if I had had tools that made my business easier, I could have not been broke all those, you know, six plus years that in, my, in, the, in the beginning of my career, right? Um, and that would definitely have increased um, the, the retention rate around me. More people would have definitely stayed in. So, 
you know, like as as we go along and uh, on this journey here at Path of the Network Marketer on the show, you know, I'm going to start. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I'm learning to help you improve not just um, you know your own retention rate for yourself and and your own results, but so that you can pass these results along, pass this knowledge along, pass these skill sets along down to your team, so that you have more people seeing more results. Right. So so that that's kind of the final piece of why I really want to do this. Um, typically, again, there is always a, a failure rate in, in network marketing. It's, it's generally been pretty high. Um, uh, let's let's work as as, you know, leaders in this profession to to increase the success rate. And, and let's use as many tools as we can use. Let's let's innovate around these tools and let's see what we can put together. I mean, there's some fun stuff about to happen, especially with my particular company and my particular team and the stuff that I'm putting, working on and putting together for myself. Um, so again, I'm going to be sharing all of that with you here on the show. So make sure if you're not already following the show, go ahead and follow the show. I'll be sharing new stuff with you every day, um, at least for the, the very foreseeable future. Um, so go ahead and follow, leave a rating and a review if there's ratings and reviews available on the platform that you're listening on. And then beyond that, um, stay tuned for the next episode. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you tomorrow.